He is known as a very funny man. But Jim Carrey means business when he talks about eliminating hunger. 25 cents a day, $50 a year to feed a child in the school, three square meals a day, to get them here, to have them have a purpose and a place to be and, uh, and a shot at, uh, at improving their lives. He visited Haiti to see how he and his Better You Foundation could help the Caribbean nation, still suffering more than a year after the quake. He came to this school in Pont-au-Prince, where the World Food Program makes sure kids get a good, healthy, nutritious meal every day. Seeing so many children still without permanent homes, Jim Carrey was reminded of a tough time when he was growing up. I remember when I was uh, homeless for a little while, growing up, and it was extremely difficult for me to learn, and especially when you're hungry. When you're hungry, you can't learn. You know, so the basics are, you know, food and shelter, food and shelter. If you get that, then you can start to soar to new heights in all the other areas. But these kids got to eat. And he liked what he saw. The school has some 1,400 children. They learn in three shifts, from morning until eight at night. Jim Carrey was so impressed by the combination of education and school meals that he immediately promised to partner with WFP and provide meals for all the children for the entire school year. And he got emotional when we asked him about seeing these Haitian children, given that he is a father himself. Oh, it's, it's, it's an extra level of depth, for sure, when I look at these kids. I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to talk about it even, because I start thinking about my own daughter and my grandson now, and uh, what wouldn't we do for them? And he admitted that he does not feel like an adult sometimes. And yes, he proved it. The kids might not have known who that funny, tall guy was, but after a little while, they were his newest fans. Bettina Lucia, World Food Programme, Port-au-Prince. <laughs>